In this video, we're gonna cover how to clean your PSYOPS Z-Series handheld lips analyzer. Let's get right into it. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure our analyzer is powered off. Now, turn the analyzer on its back. This back slant, slant here, what you can do is just kind of set that on a desk, a nice flat surface. And what we're gonna to need to do is remove these screws in the front face plate only. Don't remove anything else, just these two. All right, hang on while we do that. Now that we've loosened the screws, the faceplate should come off really easily. And you need to set that someplace nice and clean. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is zoom in so you can see a little bit closer what's going on here. In the nose of the gun, we have, this is the business part. This is where the laser is. We've got our camera down here. So what we need to do inside of there is we need to take a tweezer like this one or a flat object and pry out this little little shield here. This is called the blast shield. You should have a few spares in your kit. The spares look like this. They're wrapped in kind of a papery material inside of a plastic bag. That keeps them clean and protected. Okay, but in for this video, we won't show just popping a new one of these in. You'll be able to see this one come right back inside. So the first thing we need to do is we need to clean it. Take a lens cleaning cloth like this one and just clean here. You can clean both sides, especially if your analyzer doesn't have this, this uh, black gasket. Uh, once you've cleaned the surface and you make sure that there's no defects, you can see how clean this is. There's no laser residue on the, the lens. Um, if this blast shield here has residue on it, replace it with a new one. So I'm going to place this right back in the analyzer here like that. And that's it. Now your analyzer has been cleaned. So the, the next step is just the reverse of what we did to start. And there you go. Your Psyop Z Series handheld lives analyzer has now been cleaned. Keep in mind that in general, you shouldn't need to replace these blast shields too often. And if you need more, you can find more on alloygeek.com. Thanks for watching.